What's up, nerdlings? I'm Tom. I'm Lady Lacey. And this is the TARDIS. Do you nerd? Welcome, nerdlings! Kyle the Collector here, asking, Do, do you, you nerd? nerd? Well, do you? Come along. Let's talk about some of the things that we nerd out about. You know, we, we have a few things in the collection. First of all, we're quite a bit Hoovians. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, a lot of bit. I don't know how you'd say that, but we are Hoovians. <laughs> and uh, you know, we just had a brand new regeneration. Don't worry, no spoilers. But this is a great time to take a look at some doctors. First of all, Fresh and Merry Coop of Nerds would be so proud of you for keeping your toys in a box. Dang. Bravo! Now, this was a very cool set. Uh, did you get this as a Christmas yeah, present? Yeah, I got it as a Christmas gift one year. Honestly, the only reason that it is still in there is just because of the way the, the box setup was, so. <laughs> well, it is very handy in that this features all 13 doctors because yes. there were just the 13 at mm -hmm. the time. And what's so great about that is not only do you have all of the classic doctors, which, you know, I mean, they're very, very <laughs> stylish from yes, the first they very much are. through the years. <laughs> But you even have the eighth doctor here. But this is curious because he looks like he did when they brought back Paul McGann for that uh, little brief cameo bit to show his regeneration yeah. into the war doctor. I'm a doctor. But probably not the one you're expecting. Which and, I prefer that look better anyway. You know, I really do too. He looks so cool like that versus how he looked in that movie. And again, the war doctor... So, the late, great John Hurt, he was a great war doctor. We barely got any time with him as the doctor, which that would have been cool yeah. to have expanded on that. I hope the ears are a bit less conspicuous this time. The fact that they included a figure of him in here, though, is really, really cool. Now, of course, uh, starting in 2005, Doctor Who returned as a series. Yes. With Eccleston where we picked it up. as the ninth Doctor, I thought he was great. He was a good Doctor for the for the longest time. He was probably my favorite until jump ahead to that thirteenth Doctor, or rather the twelfth Doctor, I guess. However, number they... twelve, but the thirteenth Doctor, but yeah. he's number <laughs> all twelve of them. No sir, ah! all thirteen. <laughs> So we have Capaldi. Now, I, I don't know so much about how this Capaldi figure looks. Everyone else looks pretty great. Capaldi, uh, maybe maybe they rushed his figure out the door or maybe something. Maybe they did. They were like, crap, get him out there. But it does have your favorite my doctor. My favorite doctor, the 10th doctor, David Tennant. He is and always will be my favorite doctor, even though we have had some after him. So, yes, he will always be my favorite. All right. So, yeah, uh, again, very, very cool collection of the doctors many many doctors and still in their box no less well, like i said it was just cool because the front of it is the tardis and then when you open it up they're just all displayed and they're really nice but i also really liked that each doctor got a little blurb on the side that kind of told about them so it was like well i didn't want to just keep the packaging and then put them out so it's like i'll just leave them here okay, well there you go nerdlings we nerd for doctor who let's turn it over to you do you nerd the other thing is, I mean, basically I have all the modern doctors already out anyway, so 